You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> to the Big Dog Post Game Show. Maryland continues her winning ways. Tough Penn State, 13 to 10. Bruce Bosner, that was one tough game. Yeah, look, it's a conference game. It's against a team you've beaten a few times in a row now. And they played, Penn State played great. I mean, they, they found a little weakness coming around the corner in the first half and the second half. And then we had a hold off for dear life. Our defense was great in the second half. It really was. Yeah. Actually, I think the defense for both teams was yes. really good. Uh, as you see a couple of the early goals playing behind yeah. us. Now, here's one with Spanos, and then he didn't come back in the game. Did you find out what happened there? No, but I saw him afterwards. He walked off. I don't know. Man. He got hit hard, and he didn't call a foul either, which really got me mad. And, but look, 13 to 10, Rupel was getting beat. You know, I talked to the coach, and he said he was like, give it up, like, turn it his body mm -hmm. when you're supposed to say tight against the net or whatever, right. you know. But, but Mason would when, be able to talk about but this. But when it mattered, mm -hmm. he made some big saves. And when it mattered, I my, I tell you why. I know Dante Trader was great today. My MVP of this game, believe it or not, was Kyle Long. Yep. I and, thought and he, I thought he was special. We're going to have a little bit of Kyle Long right here. I hope you can hear him. And we'll go to break, and we'll be back in a moment here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. We're here with Kyle Long. You had probably the, the back-breaking goal moving right to left. What did you see, and why did you take that shot? Uh, you know, Zach Whittier made a great move down the alley, threw back. You know, Danny Moltz is inside. They respect him so much. Murph Drifton was able to get a little downhill and uh, put one in the cage. So, you know, it's just our spacing, just our offense. Coach Jake, you know, Coach Stills drawing it up. So, you know, it's a great team win, great team effort. And, uh, you know, enjoy this. We're on to uh, Michigan coming up next Saturday. Absolutely. Thanks for being on Turf Talk. Yep, appreciate it. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing pre problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. Back here on the field, thanks to Viner Four Gates Consulting and Rick Jacklich for their sponsorship all year. There's two home games left, Bruce, but one of the biggest topics in lacrosse nationally is Virginia beat Notre Dame, Maryland beat Virginia. Notre Dame Maryland. beat Maryland. Uh, I guess they, on the basis of everything that happened, Virginia kind of deserves to be number one because of our loss to Loyola and the fact that we only beat them by one goal, which was a great win nonetheless. And though we dominated the game at the end, but, you know, what the hell's the difference? It, it, it just doesn't matter because all these teams are going to be around for the playoffs. But Tillman made a great point. Penn State's RPI because they are the Ivy League champion. I don't know if you know that. Penn State beat the entire Ivy League? They beat three of the teams. They beat Yale, Princeton, and Cornell. And they beat mm -hmm. Cornell bad. Mm -hmm. Ten to six, they almost six goals. So that was not... Like a flute. And uh, hey, here comes the goal. He's looking good. And looking good, Logan. Logan. Come on over, man. We'll be back in a second with Logan McDaney. We're down here after the game with Nick Red and a hundred of his fans. Talk about the defensive effort it took to get this done today. Well, just a bunch of effort. I mean, we're always just based on that, and that's all we're trying to do is just bring effort every day. Obviously, there's some things to clean up, but uh, just effort, man. That's all it is. Effort. Is this one more physical than, than, than others, or is it the same thing today? Uh, of course, the conference games, you know, they want, they came to play. It's a great team right there. Uh, they're such a good team, such, such talented pieces, but, you know, uh, it's a great game, tricky game at times, but, you know, came up with the win. That's all we can ask. Thanks for being on Turp Talk. No, of course, thank you. Our most outstanding player of the championship series last yep. year, still out. How's it so, coming, Logan? Oh, it's, I mean, I've been rehabbing every day, going pretty hard in the training room. We have a tremendous staff here at Maryland, and 
I just started doing some weight bearing stuff yesterday, so that was pretty exciting. I can kind of walk without the crutches a little bit, so it's going on. No really rush. Well. No, no rush. rush. No rush. Pushing ourselves, but no rush. Now I'm going to tell you, I got a compliment to pay you because I talked to Brian Rupo on Wednesday and he was at the presser, mm -hmm. and he just said you've been such a help to him. Absolutely. And, and I knew that would be the case. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, for a, for a freshman, there's been some mistakes, but... Yeah, I mean, it's hard being a freshman going right. out there at short notice like that. I mean, he's done a great job. He's been leaning on the older guys. I mean, as a, as a freshman, you kind of lean on the older guys because they've been through those experiences. And, I mean, he's just going out there. The defense trusts him. The whole team trusts him. I mean, he's he showed up in big moments. Obviously, as we saw last week, and he played well today, too. So You can't give up that pipe, though, can no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't no, give that's it drilled, up. That's drilled into my brain. Right. Yeah, I'm sure no. it's in the his, it'll be in the his yeah, yeah. after this Hell, week. Yeah. We'll but he came up with the saves when it mattered. Exactly. And that's, that's the bottom takes. line. Absolutely. And I hear Dolan's been helping him too. Absolutely. So it's a team. It that's is. what it's it really all about. Is. Us goalies are pretty close. Yeah, they should, you should be. So uh, what, what's next in the rehab? I mean, I mean, I've been rehab. I started rehab three days after surgery. Um, yesterday was three weeks. So it's come along pretty well. Some more milestones coming up. So. All right. Well, you got a, you got you know another seven months to get ready, or six months, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we got to go, hey, go get to a presser, and we can't ask him anything he can't answer. <laughs> so we'll just leave it with this. This has been the big dog. A great kid here. Show. A great kid. A great turp. All right. And, Thanks, Bruce. And right, we will thanks. see you after Michigan next Saturday. That's right.